Okay, uh, good evening, everybody. Good evening, and uh, welcome to the uh, call for this evening. And uh, this is Charles Harper. And for those of you who are new, uh, we're just getting to know each other. I want to welcome you. I uh, I do primarily the uh, technical uh, uh, calls and uh, training for those of us who are working uh, together on some of the Genius software. And uh, I also have uh, 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 create uh, uh, rebrandable content and uh, for the plrshow.com. So if you are a PLR buyer, you might be familiar with me. If not, then uh, then hopefully we will get to know each other. And uh, so tonight, uh, I want to continue on in a series that I'm going to be doing this week. And I want to show you how all of the software works together. And of course, most of you on this call and who be concerned with this call will be uh, those of you who have purchased Clockwork Funnels. You may be uh, unfamiliar with the entire system. And by Friday, what I'd like to be able to do is to tie everything together. So I'm going to show you um, all the different pieces of the system, how they work together. And then uh, by Friday, we will tie everything together. So I'm planning on not doing a call uh, either are uh, probably on Thursday. My coaching group meets on Thursday. And uh, so we will be doing, uh, we probably will not do a call on Thursday or if, if not, then it'll be at a different time. Uh, so, uh, so, so it might have to be before uh, prior or early in the day on Thursday. However, don't worry. Uh, uh, all the calls are recorded. So if you can't get there for some reason, uh, all of the calls are available on my YouTube channel and you can find them at Gain Mindshare. So if you can hear me, please put the letter Y in the question box. Um, do me a favor. Uh, and uh, once again, if you can hear me, please put the letter Y in the question box. And then we will go ahead and get started here in a minute. Uh, and uh, of course, if you have any questions, uh, please, uh, please go ahead and type them there in the box. Otherwise, if you have questions for me, uh, go ahead and send them to me by email, and I'm happy to answer them by email. Okay, and uh, so, to, so one of the keys to, to being able to uh, to kind of work with, with, the, uh, with the system, so if you know how all the parts fit together, all you really need is the marketing situation, right? So, so once, so, so my goal in in doing this entire series is that you know what you have, and so that when you start to come up, come up against a, a, a marketing situation or a marketing problem, and you have to overcome that problem, then you'll know what it is that you need to put together in order to in order to solve it, right? I mean, a number of you have different pieces of the pie, different pieces of the puzzle. And you can use them in a number of different ways to make sense, either bring clients in or certainly to be able to service the clients that you already have. Those of you who do offline consulting, those how many of you all on this call, you work with small businesses offline? Because everything that we have, uh, for the most part, one of the things we, we uh, you know, you don't necessarily have a developer's license or anything like that. We don't have that. Um, so many of these things are ideal. Uh, for you to be able to work with customers online, I was just on a call uh, just a minute ago, and and the opportunities that are available, right? And this is something that I didn't even think about. And I'll get to to the uh, to the to the training here in a minute. Something I didn't even think about is right there in your local area, where depending on where you are in the world, um, most if not all. Right of the political client, political uh, uh, whatever you want to call them, polit politicians, right in your local area, don't have a clue about how to build an email list, don't have a clue about capture pages, don't have a clue about emailing daily and about staying out of spam filter and about and about about doing video marketing and about doing um, what do you want to say uh, uh, Facebook ads and YouTube ads and doing YouTube videos and creating content all the things that we talk about every day and a number of them during this time this this season right now they have money to spend right so everything we're gonna be talking about tonight right you can be doing with them I mean you can be doing webinars with your favorite political customer of course they'll be your favorite if they pay you right I and mean, anybody writes your check that's probably gonna be your favorite uh -huh. But my point is, is that everything that you have has value to other people because they need to be able to get their message out. They need to be able to reach people. And the tools that you have right now are available so that you can help other people, right? So you don't have to try to sell 
products. You don't have to sell digital products. What you can do is you can you can market yourself um, as a service using these tools. And so that's what I hope that some of you all do. Not everybody's meant to sell digital products. Um, some of you all can actually go out and do services for other people. And and sometimes getting a check for you know for four or five thousand dollars is easier than trying to trying to make a hundred sales on a fifty dollar product. That's just that's just straight up. Okay, so. What I want to tell you, uh, show you here tonight is uh, I, I said I, I show uh, a couple of things here. I do want to kind of show you the webinar system that we're on right now. It's called Webinar Fusion Pro. Incidentally, um, the handouts for this, um, they're not any different than they were yesterday. Um, it's the PLROShotShow.com forward slash handouts. Okay, so that's got all of the resources um, that uh, I'll be talking about here tonight. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Now I'm going to share my screen with you here. And let's see. All right, now you should now be able to share my screen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into uh, Webinar Fusion Pro. And uh, Webinar Fusion Pro is, I think, of all of the things that we have done. And as you can see here, since Webinar Fusion Pro launched, Right, I have personally personally done 207 webinars, probably more than that, and that's just on my own personal system. So I love this system, and so and so uh, showing you this um, is really uh, just kind of like um, uh, uh, you, you know, um, it's kind of hard because this this uh, particular product is kind of close to my heart. The, the guys tell me all the time, Charles, you're just too close to this. You just like it too much, and that's because I use it. And so, and so I want to show you from uh, just creating a webinar. And one of the things I want to kind of show you here is when we create a webinar, what you really have here. Okay. So, so even if you, if you, if you don't have the advanced version, one of the things that you have here is called vMerge, right? vMerge. And vMerge is, makes this webinar system uh, incredibly unique. One of the reasons that it does that is because I can actually have my slides running side by side with me. So while I'm talking, while you can, while you're seeing me uh, on on screen, right? While you're seeing me on the camera, I can also be running my slides at the same time, right? And you can see that here, and that's really what a vMerge document is. Now, the the other thing is that um, when I do this, I can actually set this vMerge document up ahead of time. Right, which is really makes it fantastic if I want to actually do something um, where uh, it's really going to be based on the presentation, but they need to see me too, right? They need to see my expression. And so you want to be able to do that in certain circumstances, again, especially if you're going to be working with somebody and, and you're, they're going to be doing a demo, right? You're going to be working with a customer or you're doing a physical demo to be able to run that, uh, that PowerPoint side by side with the uh, with their picture while they're doing a demo is pretty powerful, right? Now the other thing here is you'll notice that you know you, you uh, this does integrate the autoresponder and of course one of the things that you're going to want to do so especially if you are going to be running webinars and you're going to be sending cold traffic to your webinar is that you are going to want to be able to collect names and email addresses. Right, you can do that so that when you get a registrant, they can be placed inside of your autoresponder, right? And that's that makes this that makes this thing pretty powerful. Now, that's just with the live version. So I'm going to go uh, take a step back here. I'm going to go into a webinar that's already been created, and then uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into this one. Yeah, Jim. If you would, uh, if you would send me a uh, send me an email, then uh, I'll take a look at it, please. If you do that for me. Okay. Um, and uh, okay. So, <clears throat> one of the things that uh, you're going to notice here is that uh, inside of the system here, I'm going to size this up for you. Is that there are a couple of areas that you're going to be able to be, uh, you're going to have some control over. One thing in particular is that you are going to have control over the offer that you make, the offer that you make. And so what I can do here, and I don't know if I have an offer loaded up here. Okay, I do. Okay, so th this is not this is not going to be a real offer. Uh, I, I didn't I, did, I didn't plan on making an offer, but 
How many of you all can see the offer that I made available? Right, how many of you all can see that? So I can change all of that inside of here. Right, so I can dictate what offer I show, I can dictate the image that I show, and I can do this at any point in time during the webinar. Um, I can also do the same thing with a poll. Right, and what I can also do, and, and that I don't do a whole lot of, um, but I can also run, let me take a step back here. Um, I can also run this so that while the webinar is going, um, I can actually set my button so that people can share, right, the webinar on social media so that you get a social effect. Um, one of the things about uh, being able to share the webinar that you're doing on social media is that um, the live pictures will bring people to the webinar, right? Because they'll actually get a link to the webinar that they can actually attend, right? So, so, and that's just with the live version. And it's, it's probably in some ways, it's no different than any other live version, but in other ways, um, both the, uh, both the vMerge as well as the autoresponder make it, make it, uh, make it uh, a, a different. Okay, now the other thing here uh, that, that I did want to show you is you're gonna have uh, you're gonna have the ability here um, to control um, uh, uh, the the recorded version. And that's really where the real powerful uh, part of webinar fusion code comes in. And yes, I do, I understand that this is an upsell um, to the uh, to the uh, basic package, but again, this is really what makes the whole thing powerful. All I really have to do in order to, uh, in order to operate that, that automated webinar is upload my video. And I can actually import that video from YouTube, right? So I can import that video from YouTube or I can manually upload it, right? Now, the other thing I can do is I can also, if I go back here, I can also upload audio. Right, so I can upload an audio in the same way I uploaded the video. Now you might ask, now why would I upload an audio? Well, the reason I upload an audio is so that I'd be able to run the audio. Right, and I'll go back here. So that I'd be able to run the audio at the same time as I run my slides. So whereas I might have, I might have not have my my uh, my image or picture showing. But I will have the audio, and I'll have the uh, the, uh, the 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 vMerge, which is my slides going at the same time. So I can add slides to my audio and have it run at the same time. So if I'm going to make an offer at a particular time, I can do that. Now the other thing about this is, in particular, uh, when we start talking about the recorded version, is that I can do a I can do a true automated version. So I can actually have. Uh, different things happen inside of the webinar at different times. So, in other words, um, I can actually um, I can actually set my vMerge, and I'm going to do that here now. Going to save this. I can actually schedule this so that it will actually come at a particular time. Now I'm gonna go here right now and go into the Fusion Bot. Now what the Fusion Bot does is it allows me to have certain commands to happen while the automated webinar is running. So in other words, I set these things to happen at a particular time so that I don't have to be there. Now again, I wouldn't say that you wanna tell people this is a live webinar. I just would have it so that they would be they would know if they're not just watching the video, there are going to be some things for them to react to. So at a particular time during the webinar, right, I can set some things in motion. I can set any number of these things. I can set a poll in motion. I can hide the attendees tab. I can have the hide the shin tab. I can do my vMerge. Um, I can do any number of these things in addition to making an offer. Right, and the other part to this is that I can also, I can also log in with this admin email. Right, I can log in with this admin email. I know a number of you already have Webinar Fusion Pro. It's just you're not using it in this way. 
right? So how would you use this? So how would you use an automated webinar? Well, one of the things that you, you, you could do and really should do is that if you buy any product or become an affiliate of that product, then you should automatically be creating a video, right? Telling people what the benefits are, uploading it to the fusion bot and then setting some things in motion to make an offer and so all you have to do when you do that right inside of webinar fusion pro is there is what is called the anytime webinar link so if i send out this link right the anytime webinar link means that the webinar is automatically going to start in motion at 14 seconds so that means that anytime somebody comes to that link they're going to be able to watch the webinar and have the commands happen so that you are setting them in motion. So uh, again, a number of you on this call, you already have Webinar Fusion Pro. I'm going to suggest that, look, if you're going to actually have something for sale, one of the things that you can do almost on a daily basis is to set these things in motion. Look, the Fusion Bot doesn't care if there are only one or two people on your webinar. You just want to make sure that every webinar you get people on, that there is a call to action and the call to action you can actually set up ahead of time. Right? Any questions about that? Any questions about Webinar Fusion Pro and, and sort of what you can do with it? And now, why is this important to do with uh, Clockwork Funnels? Why is this important to use the webinar system also? I know a number of you, most of you have both. And so, and so the reason that you'd want to use Clockwork Funnels along with the webinar is that when you send people to the actual page, you want to send them to a page with a deadline, right? What happens is, is that this offer, right? This offer that we're, that we're setting in motion, this one that we're setting right here, we want to make sure that that offer actually tags that person, um, puts them inside of our email, uh, email machine, and then also sets them with a deadline so that they know they can't just buy it anytime they want. And when we set people uh, in motion with that link, what we're doing is we're giving them scarcity and, uh, and urgency at the same time. Right? Okay, so any questions so far about the webinar system? Any questions? Now, the other thing about, uh, about Webinar Fusion Pro, now this is no different than any other one that's Hangout based, is that when I get done with a webinar, right, all of my content's gonna already be here on YouTube. Right, so if I, were, if I if, when I do this webinar, so for instance, here's a webinar that I did, and it's already, and it stays here on YouTube as content. So if, if anybody, so if you, if you want to go back and see a webinar that I did, um, it can already be there. If I wanted to take it down, I could take it down. But those webinars are going to be there and they're going to be content for you. And if you go ahead and optimize those, those, uh, those webinars or optimize those videos, you're going to find that people are going to find them and watch them. Okay, so Ross's question is, can you do a test run for yourself um, as a test once you have set up the automated webinar? Yes. Yeah. And so what you do, Ross, is you would set, um, you, would, you would send this link, the Anytime Webinar link, to yourself in a different browser. I would send that to myself in a different browser and watch it over in a different browser and see what happens. You want to make sure that you're logged out of uh, Webinar Fusion Pro. But yeah, you should be able to send uh, send yourself the anytime link without registration, right? So you set up the automated webinar and you send this link. Now, the reason you send this without registration, of course, is that sometimes it's going to hinder the buying process. You could actually instead uh, send people the webinar guest link, right, which is slightly different, and they're going to have to they're going to have to log in for that. Yep, uh, Lou Dwight, uh, I'm, I'm going to be covering Genius Trainer Pro tomorrow or, uh, or probably tomorrow, right? Tomorrow's Wednesday. So, so I plan to do GMP uh, tomorrow and, and uh, GMP and GTP tomorrow. 
And then Friday, I'm going to tie everything together. Um, I might do a webinar on Thursday, right? I, that's tentative. But generally, I, you know, I plan to do this in three or four. I should be done on Friday because I'm going to show the integration. But yes, I'm going to cover uh, GMP and GTP probably tomorrow. If I don't cover Genius Trainer Pro tomorrow, I will be doing a Wednesday session. So it just might not be, it might not be at nine o'clock like it normally be. Uh, if I do it on, on, on Thursday, it's going to be, um, it's, it's probably going to be earlier in the day. Uh, Sanjay, I don't have the answer to your question yet. Yep, I, I don't. I do not have the answer to your question. Yet. I'm working on it. I am working on it. Thank you. You're welcome, uh, Lou Dwight. Okay, so <clears throat> so if you're going to run an automated webinar, what you're going to do is you're going to run that webinar using the anytime link. And that anytime link is going to put people on a webinar. And in order to automate it, the offer that you're going to set in motion is going to be your Clockwork Funnels automation. This is, going to, this is where you're going to put your link. You're going to run it inside of the offer. You're going to set this up with the Fusion Bot ahead of time so that you can run this same webinar over and over and over again and start collecting statistics. Because this is how you're going to gain leverage. You are going to see, you're going to create the webinar one time. You're going to set it up one time, and then you're going to watch your statistics. And when you have the, the the results that you don't, if you have results you don't want, you go back and you make adjustments to the webinar as opposed to doing ten webinars. Is everybody with me on that? Does everybody understand why this is more leveraged than 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 doing it over and over and over again? So so the benefit of this right, along with Clockwork Funnels is you want to be able to, to automate first the traffic, you want to be able to automate your pre-selling, and then you want to be able to collect statistics based on what's working and what is not. And so, and so the automated piece is necessary, right? You want to make sure that you're doing um, your, your, the Fusion Bot. And yes, again, I understand that this is an upsell to the webinar system. I understand that. Um, but really and truly, um, the, the, the automated system makes this uh, particularly powerful, especially when you combine it with Clockwork Funnels, because if you don't send traffic um, that's automated, it's almost hard to collect statistics, right? It's almost hard to collect statistics if you've got to send, if you've got to manually send traffic to it every day. Right. Okay. Any other questions? I know we're about at 923. We're about 923. So we're about at our limit. So I uh, won't be keeping you very much longer. Now, tomorrow I am going to cover, uh, I am going to cover uh, Genius Trainer Pro and uh, Genius Marketing Pro. And if I can, I, I, I think I said that if I don't, if for some reason I don't have time to cover Genius Trainer Pro, I will cover that on, um, on a Wednesday call, it will not be at nine o'clock. Okay, and so uh, I, I said that I was going to go into the uh, into the scarcity counter here, and I do want to do. I spend a little bit of time there. Okay, so if I go into I'm going to go and click manage scarcity counters. And what you're going to notice is that there is an inventory of scarcity counters. So what am I editing? If I go into this, edit this scarcity counter, what I'm doing here is that I am actually deciding on how many I'm going to have. Right, I'm going to go backwards here. And once I do that, there are going to be two steps to this two steps to this. Um, first, I'm going to embed this into the title tags of my site. Second, I'm going to embed this into the body. The next part is the tracking code. Now, the success code needs to land and be placed on a thank you page. So you want to place your success code on a page that your buyer has to come to in order to get their product. So in other words, 
the way that you are going to be able to count how many you have left is that you have to put this code on a page that the buyer must go to to complete their transaction, right? And when the buyer hits there, then what's going to happen is that the the, the system is going to count the number of, of, uh, of items that are left. And so really the tracking code is really that simple. There's the tracking code, which goes on your on the website they land on the success code, which lands on the uh, which goes on the uh, on the uh, thank you page or wherever it is that they must go in order to complete their transaction. Okay, so Cleta is asking the anytime link would be tied into Clockwork Funnels. No, okay, so yeah, let, let me explain that a little better, Cleta. Okay, so. <clears throat> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In the sense that you're asking, yes. So here's what I would say. I, what I would do is you, you wanna you wanna send you wanna send the anytime link because you wanna send people to an automated webinar and you want them to start the webinar at whatever time they land on it, right? Because that that goes it 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 goes with the clockwork system in that. Clockwork Funnels is going to set that deadline based on when they hit the page. But you want them to hit the webinar, have the webinar send them when they are ready. And when they hit your page, right, the Clockwork page, you want them to be coded then for the deadline. And so you want that deadline to follow them then. So whenever they get started, you want to set the thing in motion. And you set it in motion by getting them on the anytime link and showing them the offer and getting them to click on that offer, which will send them to the clockwork page. So yes, so so the first step in the process is to get people to the webinar through the anytime link. And then on that webinar to get them to click on the offer link, right? And again, all that can be automated in order for you to collect statistics, right? You don't want to be doing that over and over and over again. You just want to make adjustments when it's not necessarily working. Does that does that make sense, Cleta? And while she's answering that, are there any other questions? Okay, everybody, it's about 928, so if there are no more questions. Okay, so, uh, so yeah, so uh, Jimmy is asking, what is the maximum time we can run a webinar? Um, are, do you mean, oh, okay, so how, are you, are you asking how long can your webinar be? Is, is that what you're asking, Jim? How, what's the maximum length of time your webinar can be? And uh, would you just type your answer there in the box. And I'm going to go on to Kevin's question. Okay, so Kevin's question is, um, can you talk about how to save the pages made with Clockwork Funnels? Um, and are the pages hosted on the platform? Okay, great question. Um, okay, so, okay, yeah. So, so first to answer Jimmy's question, um, a live webinar, um, as far as I know, uh, on, on, uh, since it uses the, the, the Hangouts platform, um, as I understand it, you can do it as long as you want to. Now, um, I have heard that at the five hour point, then that it starts to kind of crack. Now, I'm just talking about a live webinar right now. I've heard that there are some that that, that it starts to kind of break down and um, you, you, you kind of have something that's really big in terms of a file in order to be streaming. So so five hours I've heard is is a. Uh, I wouldn't say it's an official limit, but but things start to break down at that point. Um, and then, in terms of an automated webinar, um, I would think the same. Now, your 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 issue is going to be um, the streaming size of your video, right? Because you when you if you try to stream a five hour video, then that's going to 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 hamper people who want to watch the video, right? So it's it's so so unless somebody has something extremely high speed. Um, streaming a five-hour video for anybody, right? Even if they've got super speed, is probably going to be a little problematic. So, what I would say is, um, a good rule of thumb is to stay at an hour. If you have to go over that, go over that. Um, I don't like going into two hours personally. 
Right? I personally don't like going into two hours. Okay, yeah, uh, Jimmy is asking if there is a process map. You know, Jimmy, I think there may be, but if not, I no, you know, I don't think there is, Jimmy. Um, what I can do is uh, I will try to put something together for tomorrow. Right. Uh, so, so yeah, I will outline the automated steps into uh, into um, into Webinar Fusion from from Webinar Fusion Pro into Clockwork Funnels. So yeah, so I don't think there is one right now because all the pieces were never in any one place. So um, that might be something I could do. Now I might not be able to get it done for tomorrow, but I will get it done by the end of the series. So yeah, I'll commit to doing that. I'll commit to doing that. Okay, so Kevin's question is, um, can you talk about how to save the pages made with Clockwork Funnels? Okay, good. Um, so if I go into my pages, and I create a new page here. And I go and I, let's say I decide I'm going to do a video. And then that's going to be pretty much it. I'm going to save that page. And if I want to save that page just as it was, um, I would write in my unique page name. Unique page name. And then I'm going to click Save. And then I'm going to go back to my pages. And then there's my page unique save name. Um, if I want to edit that page, or do if I want to duplicate that page, I can duplicate it. If I want to edit it, I can edit it there. If I want to delete it, I can delete it. If I want to uh, uh, do a, a split test, I can do it. If uh, I want to get reports on it, I can do that. Um, if I want to uh, link to that, and then uh, and then if I want to share the page, I can do that. And if I want to download it. Um, and put it on my uh, on my server myself, I can do that. Now, one of the things that you're going to want to note about that is that if you download the page and you re-upload it, it's probably not going to be mobile responsive. Now, if you, yeah, now with, with the page that we're hosting here, they are going to be mobile responsive. But if, you, but if you decide to put it on your server based on the download, you're downloading HTML, and the HTML may or may not be mobile responsive. It's probably not going to be. Okay, so 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 Kevin, that's how you would you would create a page and then sell it. And yes, this page is then hosted on our on our site, which you could then either mask or you can put inside of um, <coughs> a subdomain. All right, great question. Any other questions? Okay, uh, okay, so, and Kevin is asking, how can we add the pages saved to our website? Can, can you clarify that just for a little bit for me, Kevin? I'm not quite sure if I, are, are you saying, can you take pages from your website and put them on, uh, on this system? Or are you saying, can we, can we take these pages and put them on your website? Can you just clarify that for me? Yeah, let's see. Well, tomorrow night is Wednesday night. We'll be meeting at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then Thursday's webinar may not be at if I do a Thursday one, right? That's only if I can't cover everything that I need to cover tomorrow. Then, uh, then I, I then then Thursdays will be at a different time, which I believe will be, um, um, uh, probably five or six. Five or six Eastern Standard Time. Okay, and uh, once again, now incidentally, um, you know we do have. Um, I'm going to mention this now. This shameless plug here. Um, we do have our coaching program, GainMindShare.com forward slash coaching. 
um, where we do weekly webinars and I have time to answer just about any questions that you might have. So um, if that's something that might be of interest to you and you really feel like um, you, you're at that point where if you could just have a couple of questions answered or you can get a push in terms of your product creation, then uh, come and join us at gainmindshare.com forward slash coaching. Okay, so if you if you want to put the pages on your WordPress website, okay. Now, um, if, if uh, there isn't there isn't a way to put them on your WordPress website, what you can do is that you can put them in the same directory. So, in other words, it works the same way. So, for for example, uh, let's say that um, my so my website is um, the PLR Show. Right, so so the PLR show. But so there, there's really no way for me to put um, a Clockworks Funnels page on the PLR show. However, what I can do is that I can I can do a couple of things. First of all, I could go into um, my leak cloaking plugin here, and I can create a link here that's called. Kevin, Courtney, and then I can take my Clockworks Funnels page. Why I can't really see. Can't remember what the name of the page was. I can take that page and then I can put that page in here. That's one way for me to do it. Right? And then it's in there. Now, another way for me to do that is that I can actually take this page and I can put it inside of uh, the plrshow.com. I can actually put that inside of my cPanel hosting. So for example, if I if I download this entire thing, if I download this entire package, I'm going to go back here. If I download this entire package here, I can actually host that by putting it inside of um, uh, inside of my my directory in uh, in in uh, cPanel if I use uh, FileZilla. Right, I can put that inside of any directory on the plrshow.com as long as it's not being used by WordPress. So if I'm not using it by WordPress in any way, then I can actually create it inside of my website so that it is um, on the same domain. Right, and anything, any other way that you want to get to the site, of course, you can create links for that. So, so you can't put it on WordPress directly, but you can put it on the same site where WordPress is. And you do that either by using um, a, a link cloaking plugin like I just showed you, or <laughs> if you want a more robust um, solution, what you can do is you can actually use a subdomain or even a subdirectory. Okay. Any other questions? Thank you, Kevin. I appreciate that. Any other questions? Okay, everybody. Well, thank you very much for being here again. Um, now, tomorrow we will review uh, Genius Marketing Pro and Genius Trainer Pro. And uh, again, on Friday, we'll tie it all together with integration. So with that, thanks to you, everybody. Have a great night and a pleasant tomorrow. Take care.